Peace and love, everybody. This is AI News with AI Eric. And today we have a special session and we'd like you to stick around so you can learn a little something on the best way to use your generative pre-trained transformer, your GPT. But today we're going to be using OpenAI ChatGPT. And today we're talking about prompting. Prompting is one of the most important aspects of using artificial intelligence. So this is today AI prompting with AI Eric. And this is your introduction to prompt engineering. So prompt engineering is basically the process of crafting precise instructions that guide AI models like ChatGPT to produce accurate and relevant outputs. And why does this matter, you ask? It matters because the quality of your interaction with whatever artificial intelligence you use is directly influenced by how well you can instruct your prompts. Basically the key to getting the output you're looking for, you know what I'm saying? So prompt engineering is the art and science of crafting precise instructions or prompts to guide AI models like ChatGPT, Copilot, Claude, basically in generating accurate and relevant and contextually appropriate responses. So you're going to basically structure and refine prompts as you go along, basically to achieve the desired output from the AI model that you're using. And you're going to learn a skill. You're going to learn how to optimize AI interactions. You know what I'm saying? So prompting definitely plays a crucial role in machine learning. Even the data scientists, the data engineers, the machine learning engineers, uh, whoever's crafting the prompts at the time of building the model, they're actually using prompts too. So basically prompting is like a bridge between human intent, human interaction, and basically machine learning models, you know? So in machine learning, especially Especially machine learning models, particularly like ChatGPT, the quality of the prompt directly influences the output generated by the model. So effective prompting will ensure that the models are guided in a way that aligns with the desired outcome if you're prompting correctly. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's going to also enable better performance, accuracy, and context awareness from the model you're dealing with. You know, in essence, prompting is basically, it's just, it's not just about asking a question or giving the command. It's about structuring input strategically so that you can maximize the capabilities of the machine learning model, you know? So this will empower you to extract the best from whatever model you're using, making it a key skill, leveraging the machine learning model effectively by using your prompts or either prompting correctly, you know? So this next part is going to be us actually opening up ChatGPT to show you some ins and outs, some goods and bads on effective prompting. So we're back with artificial intelligence prompting with AI Eric, AI prompting with AI Eric. So right now, what we're going to do is, as you can see, we got ChatGPT up and actually we're going to be using ChatGPT 4.0. Even though they got Canvas 01, that is better at advanced reasoning, 01 mini, fast at reasoning. Um, they don't use 3.5 no more. Of course, to the left is all your GPTs and then your history at the bottom. Right here is just four starters to get you started. So what we're going to do is, once again, I want to explain to you prompt engineering basically is the art and science of crafting precise instructions or prompts to guide AI models like ChatGPT and generating accurate, relevant, and contextually appropriate responses because of your prompt. And it involves um, structuring and refining these prompts to achieve the desired output from the AI model, making it making it a crucial skill for optimizing AI inter interactions, basically. So context for a good prompt, we have four parts, which is number one, context, which is um, you want to provide the background information or additional details that will help the AI model that you're using understand the scenario or task at hand. Number two, instruction. You want to clearly define the specific task or action you want the AI to perform. Number three, input data. You want to supply any necessary data or examples that the AI model needs to 
work with or consider when generating the output. And then number four, output indicator. You want to specifically specify the desired format, the style, the structure. You can actually ask it to make it a particular tone, you know? So right now, what we're going to do, we are in, once again, ChatGPT. This area right here is where you actually put your input. So we're going to start off with number one, which is context. And number one for us is going to be, I'm writing a blog post on the importance of AI in healthcare. In particular, I want to focus on how machine learning is being used to analyze the patient data and predict healthcare outcomes. So right here, you're going to also get a lesson on how machine Machine learning work, ML works. So number two is actually going to be the instruction on how we want it to move. So we're going to say, please generate a short paragraph explaining how machine learning models can predict patient outcomes based on historical health data. So the instruction is clearly defining the specific task. Number three is input data. So, you know, supplying necessary data and examples. So for reference, include examples such as predictive models for diagnosing disease or predicting the likelihood of remission to a hospital. So it's actually telling it to give us references and examples such as predictive models. Number four is output indicator, copy paste. And the output indicator, like I said, the response should be concise around four to five sentences and written in a formal tone suitable for a professional blog. I'm going to hit go and you see how fast that pops up. And it's giving us exactly what we want. And what I want to do is I want to read it out loud. It says machine learning models are transforming healthcare by analyzing large volumes of historical patient data to predict future health outcomes. These models can identify patterns and data that help in diagnosing diseases, determining the likelihood of disease progression, are predicting patient remission to hospitals. For example, predictive models can assess the risk of developing chronic conditions such as diabetes or heart disease based on a patient's medical history, lifestyle factors, and genetic information. Similarly, machine learning algorithms are used to forecast the chances of hospital remission, enabling the healthcare providers to intervene early and reduce costs. These advancements are improving both patient care and operational efficiency of course, across the healthcare system. So for me right here, when it says machine learning algorithms used to forecast the chances of remission, enabling healthcare providers to intervene early and reduce costs. That's what one of the things that artificial intelligence can do and helping with the healthcare industry. So what I want to do is I want to, you can copy this right here and go ahead and paste it somewhere. You could give it a good response or a bad response. I'm going to give it a good response. And one of the reasons you want to do that is because you're now training your section of your AI and your machine learning model on your chat GPT, your part, you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I want you to number this and bullet also add a sample for each. Boom. You see how fast that did that? So it actually gave me, it numbered it. Number one, disease diagnosis. Machine learning models can diagnose diseases by analyzing patient data and identifying early warning signs. Sample, a predictive model can analyze imaging data to detect early stage lung cancer in high risk patients before symptoms appear. You see, number two, risk prediction for chronic conditions. These models can forecast the likelihood of patients developing chronic conditions based on their medical history and lifestyle factors. Sample, a model predicts a patient's risk of developing type 2 diabetes based on family history, blood sugar levels, and weight. So boom, you got three predicting hospital readmission. Machine learning algorithms help predict the likelihood of patients being readmitted to hospitals, allowing for timely intervention. Sample, a hospital uses a machine learning tool to predict which heart failure patients are most likely to return within 30 days of discharge. So boom, you got four, you got five. I'm going to hit, I like that. Now, so what I'm going to do is I want you to create a email based off of AI Eric and make this email a, a summary of what we just went over.
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to put who I want, to, want it to go to. It's just going to go ahead and create a template based off of AI Eric. And then it's going to actually give me the blank. So, boom. Subject, AI and healthcare, predicting patient outcomes with machine learning. Dear recipient's name, I hope this message finds you well. I wanted to share some insights on how AI, particularly machine learning, is revolutionizing healthcare by enhancing our ability and predict patient outcomes. Below is a brief overview of how machine learning models are being used to analyze patient data and assist in clinical decision making. Disease diagnosis, machine learning models are diagnosing the diseases by identifying early warning signs throughout data analysis. So basically, you know, you see it actually created uh, email automatically, best regards, AI Eric, AI consultant, and it's just, an, it's just awesome. So what I'm going to do is I just gave a lesson on prompting and I want you to give a summary on this lesson and keep it one paragraph and make it top five. <laughs> I want the one it numbered. So, so you see how it's, it's, it's actually sometimes. So what happens is when you actually like I did this fast for the sake of time, but when you're really getting down to the nitty gritty, you want to read everything thoroughly to make sure that it's not hallucinating. You want to make sure that it's giving you what you want and you want to sometimes go on it. You might say number one and two, I want you to change it completely. But this is the summary that it gave us. Here's a number summary of the top five most important aspects of effective prompting from today's lesson. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the five revised precision in language, use precise wording and prompts to minimize confusion and ensure accurate results Two, context, provide relevant background information to the model to improve the accuracy of its responses. Three iterative refinement, continuously adjust and refine prompts based on the output to achieve better results, which we was just talking about Four, consistency in tone and format. Use consistent language and structure in your prompt to ensure uniform responses. Five, examples within prompts. Include sample prompts for examples to guide the model towards your desired outcome. So once again, people, I just want to say that prompting is definitely the key. And particularly, man, if you really get down and dirty and start understanding, there's so many frameworks that's involved with prompting. Like I just went over like some basics, but there's a lot of frameworks involved and prompting. And when you start understanding the frameworks and how the frameworks work, and you can make you some money with this prompting. So I know I'm loading my gun up. So once again, I want to say thank you for um, listening to AI News with AI Eric. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend about our YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Once again, this is youtube.com forward slash at AI Eric, AI News with AI Eric. Peace and love. AI News with AI Eric.